Well, I got this new circuit running about 85 milliamps, 86. Pretty little simple setup here. I built the uh, circuit out of inductors instead of a tool roy. And uh, have this potentiometer on the secondary of the uh, positive side of the battery, and this inductor is on the negative side. And I have my oscilloscope set on the uh, LED side of this inductor on the negative side. These LEDs are probably half brightness, maybe a little bit more, but uh. I'm still running this PTK potentiometer. This is an MPS 2222A transistor, and that is a uh, 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And these are uh, 100 microhenry inductors. But um, I'm calling the uh, Full circuit inducto circuit. Eh, just to be funny, I reckon. It looks a little complicated, but it's really not once you build it. But, uh, you know, once you build it, I mean, it's like building a jewel fee. It's real easy. But, uh, something else I want to show you is, uh, is how this inductor here it actually play, plays a big role in how these. LEDs are so bright. It's weird because it comes all the way back around, you know, it goes from the collector to that side. But, uh, but anyway, you can change the, the uh, capacitor around it, whatever you want to do. But uh, here's that secondary on the positive side. You got six turns and then you got 16 turns on the secondary. You can put your LEDs over here and run them instead of where I have them, you know, down here. But, uh, why would you want all these pulses going back into the battery? It just seems silly to, uh, barely ever run your battery down, right? But, you know, I got it running at, uh, about 85, 86. As you can see, I can turn this potentiometer and, uh, they get brighter. And you can turn it back down. And you can turn it back up. And you can turn it down. And you can turn it back up. Anyway, when you turn them up, it runs up there about 1.03 you know, milliamps. But, at 1 milliamp, this thing uh, has some very cool looking pulses. And, uh, you can pretty much see what I've got it set on. And, uh, it's pretty neat. I'll turn it back down and uh, see what we get. Smaller pulses, just about the same voltage. But it's a fairly simple setup. Seems like I can't run this battery down. I pulled it on a Wii controller and it quit reading about 1.2 volts. And all my tests, I've still got 1.2 volts in this thing. But, as you can see, they're uh, pretty good brightness. Turn it down, they go back down about half brightness. But all these pulses are coming straight off the battery. I'm sure somebody finds that interesting out there. That's a one inch toll road from a uh, gold mine and I got those from gold mine also they're just 100 micro henry inductors but I reckon that's it for now